I wanted to create something uh, that blends different Mexican styles, 16th century mural Mexican styles with 18th century um, uh, portraits of nuns done in Mexico with a bulto and a framework that's based on a 19th century New Mexico visual vocabulary. A lot of the imagery on the retablo, the bulto of San Hipólito, the images of the portraits of nuns, and then the um, little mural excerpts on the bottom of bees and hummingbirds and flowers, those are all taken from actual 18th century portraits of nuns, Mexican, um, and I'm appropriating those mural images from a 16th century mural in Malinalco, Mexico. The same thing with the Bulto of San Hipólito that's taken from two colonial Mexican uh, paintings um, that I'm then turning into a three-dimensional sculpture. But these paintings were meant to commemorate the conquest of Aztec Mexico of Mexico Tenochtitlan, which fell to the Spaniards on August 13th, 1521. This is the same day that San Hipólito is celebrated in the Christian calendar. I wanted to call attention to the image of San Hipólito as something that we should be looking at as a way that colonial Mexicans acknowledged the conquest. It doesn't show um, the defeat of Cuauhtémoc to Cortés. It doesn't show any violence whatsoever. It doesn't show the actual historical conquest of Mexico. But it acknowledges that conquest through a Christian, sort of a symbolic Christian visual language. In the main panels and the larger panels, uh, I'm drawing on sort of unique type of portrait that was produced in New Spain in the 18th century. And these are portraits of actual Mexican women who made the vows of the religious life. Their families commissioned artists to come in and to portray their daughters all done up wearing these exquisite floral crowns, holding these exquisite floral staffs, sometimes holding sculptures of the Christ child. But the whole idea is that they're shown as queens, right? They're the, the, the brides of Christ. I'm painting an image of an eagle standing on a cactus that's growing out of a rock. This is the Aztec symbol for the city of Mexico. Tenochtitlan, which was the capital of Aztec Mexico. On one side of the cactus is the burning Aztec temple, which is the pre-Columbian Aztec way of showing the defeat of a city. On the other side of the cactus is an image of a mummy bundle for Motecuzoma. Motecuzoma was one of the last Aztec leaders um, who died during the conquest. You know, I, I guess the message that I wanted to send to viewers of this piece is that as destructive and as horrible as the conquest was for many indigenous groups, um, they survived and they more than survived. They um, helped create a brand new culture, a brand new way of thinking about the world that again has been invisible to modern viewers for such a long time